Welcome back, bro. You're deluded until you make it. So, a lot of content creators talk about this. Everything you make, uh, everything you make of content before you like make it and become like semi famous or or start making some money, um, you're always going to be called cringe in a way. And in day-to-day -day life, people around you are going to call you deluded until you make what you're saying real. I see a lot of people talk about how the people around them aren't supportive of their dreams and anything. But I don't really think that you guys are understanding what you're saying. Like, let me give you an example. You found a wife, right? Or you found a woman, she became your wife, she became the mother of your child. You had three children, a daughter and two sons. And one of the sons you have raised for 16 years. And now he says that he wants to not pursue college when that time comes. He wants to just stay at home and work on some stuff on his PC. That was just an example I came up from the top of my dome. Wouldn't you think that he was deluded? Because when you were young and when you were in your 20s and when you got into your 30s, 40s, you were just so happy that you went to school. Because college, right? That's the, that's the way to make it. Well, time changes. You can't just get a college degree and now you're happy. Education is indoctrination. You're not going to just get an educational degree and then be happy. Bro, inflation. Like, in a couple of years, there's not going to be enough food. There's not going to be, like, there are going to be inflation hikes on foods. Like, we're probably going to see, like, a 100 to 200% increase for 2025-2026. So when society is effed, and the college costs five times as much as it did when he was young. Of course, you then understand that you shouldn't take a college degree. But then you should also understand that you're going to sound deluded. It's going to be like, are you delusional? Like, you're not going to take education. You're not going to do anything. You're just going to stay inside for a year. At home, working on something from your PC. You're just gonna... Well, who knows? You're just gonna do lead generation for agency. No, start a lead generation agency and work for other businesses. Like, how are you gonna make money doing that? Well... You understand that it's going to work. This is the same topic as I did on a former video. It's easy to win basically the same that you understand that it is easy to win and that it is easier to win because most people are running around being average being losers and you understand that if you're becoming average you're going to be treated like trash you want to be great and you know that in time it's easy to win because you are going to um make yourself so much better and you know that it's going to take time but that in time you're going to be physical financial and mentally better than most people around you and you can win because you can't afford to be average like you did back in the days if you haven't seen it's easy to win it's a video on my channel just search it's easy to win just go on the home page and see scroll through some videos it's before this one but you are then going to be called deluded. Because they don't understand that it's easy to win. They are still in the 50s, 60s, like, oh. Well, the way I did it, well, that's uh, 10, 20, 30 years ago. It's a different time. And people around you is going to laugh at everything you do. 
Like everything you do, people are going to laugh. So you can you can make a decision in your teens and twenties that you can make a decision that you're gonna let your life choices be decided by people around you that you don't really care about. And the people around you right now in school and the people around you that you meet in everyday life are going to turn into dirt. I hope you know that. We're all going to turn into dirt. They're all going to get a tombstone. They're all going to end up in a casket. So who cares what they think? They aren't immortal. They aren't there when you wake up in the morning and they aren't there when you go to sleep. And if a person isn't there when you wake up in the morning or when you go to sleep, they are not your person. They're, then they're opinion doesn't matter. But you shouldn't be a guy that runs around life and says, whatever anyone says about me, I don't care. I just care about myself. Like I don't care about others' opinions. You should care about others' opinions of you. But you should take everything other people are saying is bad about you, try to improve it, and reject the things that makes no sense. Because if someone laughs at you because you're starting to do infomercials on TikTok or Instagram and they've seen your ad and they're like, oh, you're, you're, oh you're, you're selling this and this online, you're selling this and this course, what is wrong with you? Well, yeah, what are you doing with your life? What are you doing? Like... There's a really good quote on this that I have posted on TikTok, on TikTok officially like this. There's a really good quote on this, and there is, they laugh at me because I'm different, and I laugh at them because they're all the same. That's the embodiment of, of going against the sheep hurdle. Because they're all the same. And the thing is, you can just, you can just, sit down on a chair in a public crowded space and just stop people and ask them questions, ask them the same question. You're going to get the same answer. And once you meet a person that doesn't give you the same answer as everyone else, probably one in 10, one in 15, one in 20, what is that person? No, he's going to take care of himself. He's probably going to be jacked. He's probably going to, he's probably going to, he's probably going to have money or he's going to have, some of these good things is going to be unplugged from like the sheep hurdle. He's going to not be walking around with all the other wolves. He's going to be a lone wolf in a way. Probably he has a social circle, but I'm just saying. He's the wolf that was kicked out of the crowd. Most people are all the same with all the same opinions and ideologies and, and priorities. And then they ask other people, or I can just say, they have, people ask me, like, I'm in the gym, and they, they, there comes some average guy over to me, like, how do you, how do you make your, how do you make your muscle like that? Do you have a secret? Like, how do you, be, bro, you're probably drinking once a week. You're probably eating shit. Do you know what a calorie is? Do you know your protein intake? You start asking them these questions. They don't know what you're talking about either. So if you don't have the input that I put in, if you don't sacrifice what I sacrifice, then don't think you're going to get gifts. Don't think you're going to get the same output as me. Because you're not putting in the same work. You're not secluding yourself from everyone else. Because if you, if you are doing the same as everyone else, you're going to become the same as everyone else. You think that you're going to put in the same amount of input and get a different amount of output? It's not put in dirt and get gold out. It's not a converting mach machine. It's not magic. There's no wizard here. There's no magic spirits with three wishes. What do you want, my friend? There's nothing like that. They're all going to call you deluded. The way you act, the way you... The way you behave, the way you take yourself seriously, the way you prioritize, the way you, the, the things you talk about, the ideologies you have, uh, the, 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 
the future expectations that you have, they're all going to call you deluded for it. But this comes from the same people that don't know what they want to work with. They think that what they want is a nine to five job. Their ideologies is utterly, completely effed up. And they think that education is key and they think that the world is going to be the same as it is today in a couple of years. And that's not true. We're seeing a shift. These people are asleep and you have to, as I always say, you have to stay awake. You have to stay awake and not woke and you have to take care of yourself and you have to let them call you deluded because, well, they are average. So what do you want to be, average or deluded? Because delusion, if you have a delusion because you have an illusion, you can make that illusion a reality by building it up. Imagination can become reality. A visualization can be something physical. 100%. You just have to believe it enough and then you have to get yourself together, realign your purpose, realign your focus and get to work. And understand, as I always say, that one step at a time and in time, it's going to happen. But you understand the physical gain, the financial gain, and knowledge and mental gain uh, is going to come from pain. It's going to come from time. It's going to come from tries. And then in the end, you are going to have it. Because if you think that 99% of people are the same and then 1% are uh, making it, then you can also think that of everyone that are really trying to run after it, there's not a lot of those people that fail. You either want to be average or you want to win. And a lot of the winners win. Winners win, losers lose. So, brother, like the video if you like it, so more people can see it. If you dislike it, then you should dislike it, so less people have to see it. You should comment down below. Have you ever been called deluded? What will you do if someone called you deluded? You should subscribe to be part of the journey and to follow... No, you should subscribe to be part of the victims and to follow the journey, actually. And yeah, you should share this with someone who might need this. Take care of yourself. Stay awake, not woke.